we're dealing with cars again today. We're dealing with that which may be obtained through a BCAA membership. Such privileges allow us to rejuvenate things. When you're on the side of the highway, broken down, you can phone up BCAA and rejuvenate your car. Rejuvenate your possibilities and get yourself back on the road. So that's what's really going on here. I did my first BCAA related review a few weeks back. And then there was a whole flurry of activity around Tim Hortons. The Roll Up the Rim Challenge. Reviewing those various coffees. And that became a priority. Winning became a priority. So I wasn't able to edit the first video on time. So the timeline will be somewhat skewed. However, that's what BCAA is really all about. Going back in time, rejuvenating what was thought to be lost. So, today the BCAA privileges achieved me a free coffee at a cafe called Blends. Blends Coffee. It was once a burgeoning alternative to, say, Starbucks in British Columbia. The numbers have dwindled a little bit. My town only has one left. There's a few other locations across the jurisdiction of BCAA, British Columbia's branch of the Automotive Association. So today I went to the one remaining blends. And so the numbers have dwindled a bit since that time period when adding a Z to the end of any name was deemed somewhat hip or popular. Maybe in the future that will come back, but it's somewhat undetermined what this name even indicates, blends. So I assume it's a, a plurality of the term blend, dropping the D, replacing that with a Z or Z as we pronounce it here. Um, so I guess it's it's a more ambiguous blend of coffee or or maybe there's some term blend without a d that it is pluralizing that I'm I'm un, I'm unfamiliar with what exactly that would indicate. So today we'll find out. So I went in, I flashed my BCAA RV Plus membership card. I was entitled to a free coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. I opted for the coffee. Within that, there was there was further options for me. I could either go for the Klondike Dark Roast or the Safari Medium Roast. I thought that the Safari Medium Roast would really reveal the, the intricacies of this coffee so I could truly make an evaluation. I added a little bit of cream to my coffee as I usually take it. I decided to take this stir stick and because it, in some ways it kind of reminds me of like a the oil oil dip stick when you're checking your oil. So I thought that that was kind of nice for this this very occasion. The cup's got this very very happy, upbeat yellow color to it. It's almost a McDonald's yellow here. As McDonald's is heading towards a more kind of sophisticated, darker look, with their coffee at least, we're going for this, this upbeat happiness here. So that's that's okay, it's refreshing. So I've, I had a few sips as I was walking back to my van. Um, and I have, I have a few first impressions, but I'll, I'll take another sip here just for, you know, once again, rejuvenating that experience. Take out that little dipstick there.
Now, it does certainly taste like coffee, as opposed to some of the recent experiences I've had at Tim Hortons. This is more what you'd expect from your traditional drip coffee. However, it is quite medium in flavor. There is some, some delicacy. Additionally, I thought, considering it's a free coffee, I'd want to get the most out of the experience, and therefore the highest dose of caffeine. Those medium roasted coffees tend to have more caffeine because there's less coffee burned off of it. Similarly, if you're driving in your RV or any automobile, the more gasoline you've burned off, the less potential, the less distance you have to go. So in terms of value, this being free, I don't think that that's too bad. But the flavor, I'd say it leaves a little bit to be desired. Right now what I'm tasting is sort of like a a medium coffee, but it feels more like coffee that's just a little bit watered down. I'm not necessarily benefiting from the medium roast in terms of a more delicate product. It feels more that it's a lighter coffee flavor. There isn't intricacies that I feel as I'm able to pick up on or at least enjoy to a greater degree because of the lighter roast than a dark roast. But that is partially down to my choice alone as well, because I chose to go for the medium roast, even though I may prefer a dark roast in the end, but I was really after that extra energy, similar to the full tank of gasoline. Now in the end, what would I rate this? Well, I'm not familiar with any sort of Roman numeral that incorporates a Z. If there is a Roman numeral that incorporates a Z or Z, it's probably quite high up in the numbers. But there's some sort of some sort of value to that. That Z or Z. And it goes in line with that notion of the acronym that is BCAA. It is these symbolic representations of some sort of service, of something that rolls off the tongue easier. So yes, I would say that similarly, this coffee goes down quite easily. There's nothing unappealing about it. And presumably, it will give me energy, and hopefully more energy than I would have had without the assistance of BCAA. More longevity than I would have had without the assistance of BCAA. This pluralization, this ambiguous deformation of the S in the form of a Z, incorporating that D becomes that uncharted territory that I will reach with this added energy, with the assistance of the association. Now there's a little, a little zing of acidity at the end of the, the flavor, at the end of the experience. Like a final grasp for life. That, that fun, unpredictable letter at the end of the alphabet. So I feel like that's what 
this coffee represents. That's what this coffee tastes like. It is that that grasp for for further action, for further success, for for survival. That twist at the end that could lead to more potential. So, like the business itself, I believe this coffee is making a final grasp for a better future.